Oh, last week, you are most welcome on the Capital Show. You're my guest for today. You are an international finance expert and a UNA delegate to the UN. Uh, of course, we're going to talk about many questions in the American economy. First of all, uh, how uh, the ac economic American economy will help the world economy? Uh, do we have this year or the year coming uh, a better performance? Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. I would say it's both. I say right now and going forward, we're going to see some improvements. Uh, since globalization has came into play over the past 30 years with trade and foreign investment, you're going to see an improvement. However, given America's lead position in global, global trade, foreign policy influence, as well as a capital society overall, where most of the notorious companies are headquartered in the U.S., as well as its banking system, I think the stronger America is, this year and going forward, the stronger the world economy will be at large, especially for our neighboring countries like Mexico and Canada, as well as our allied countries in Western Europe, India, Taiwan, UAE, and so forth. As we support and encourage economic growth for them through uh, strategic business alliances, they grow. So overall, I think in many sectors, we're going to see growth now and going forward. Mm -hmm. How will, in your opinion, the AI will impact the world? economy in the years to come? It's going to impact it a lot. It has been the past five years, and this year and the past year with ChatGBT, we've been seeing an uptick in many sectors, of course, in finance and, and uh, education. But AI is going to accelerate and bring innovation to many sectors, technology, the banking system, supply chain logistics, agriculture, and even on the ground level, such as like regulatory policies and, and foreign relations. The biggest and most talked about impact is disruption in the labor market. Mm -hmm. On one hand, we will see labor innovation and new jobs that need practitioners and leaders to carry out AI. On the other, the intelligence behind AI will be favorable for employers on a cost basis analysis to take advantage of, which could cause job loss. Uh, about the World Bank, you 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 had experience there. How do you, you think it can initiate reform to contribute more to the betterment uh, of the world uh, economy? The betterment of the world economy and society at large is what the World Bank does as an institution. It's putting money towards human rights in its areas. Uh, the World Bank could put investment capital low to zero interest loans, as well as grants into emerging countries to help them with its public administration, infrastructure, education, and healthcare system, as well as civil society at large as citizens in order to promote entrepreneurships that could create jobs. Mm -hmm. And last, emerging countries and countries that have or are going through humanitarian crises, which could bring its economy back on track. Mm -hmm. uh, so you work in the UN. Uh, how can you see this institution uh, can help women in general, uh, can empower women everywhere in the world? The UN has several agencies and branches. One of it is UN Women and Station of the World, uh, which solely focuses on women's issues surrounding their social, political, and economic rights. As the overall UN system does, it works with member states to push these standards and forge partnerships within civil society. Uh, through an UN Women, they hold the annual commission status of women, CSW conference at the UN headquarters in New York, which compromises of civil society and government officials, as well as open dialogue to form and address the challenges that women are facing today and the resolutions that could be proposed in order to alleviate them. Mm -hmm. And so far, of being a delegate twice to that conference. Are women now uh, facing any challenges in finance? How they can succeed in this field? Women are still facing challenges to get into leadership positions and at the, the CEO, the C-suite level. Uh, of course, there is the pay gap. I always, by promoting women's entrepreneurship, putting having the banks open funds, and putting capital investment on fair and reasonable terms for women entrepreneurs in order for them to prosper for themselves, their families, and the communities at large, uplift women. That is if they feel that they cannot achieve their highest potential in the corporate world. Hmm. What is your message through Silver Waste International, the group that you founded? My, my mission, of course, is to focus on the businesses in the United States and of course around the world, we deal with business financing and business consulting. 
Um, I like to look for businesses uh, in all sectors, public or private. In particular, businesses who have faced trials in obtaining financing through the traditional methods, such as mainstream banks and large institutions, in order to, again, uplift them and pursue what, at least in our country, what a capitalist society is, which is creating jobs and prospering in its communities. Mm. Uh, I wrote I wrote an art- you wrote an article uh, titled uh, on business financing uh, is capital needed during growth or plateau can you explain or elaborate more on this idea sure i advise business owners all the time on how to expand their businesses and reconstruct it through financing clients and business owners are making decisions all the time on whether they should obtain financing or raise money from outside investors now or when they're starting out or in the middle of business. I wrote the article to explain the benefits of obtaining financing, whether the business is expanding, more sales, more revenue, or if it's the opposite, where the business isn't necessarily down, but it hasn't yet peaked. Uh, we can exp- uh, escape. Uh, we cannot escape the Middle East. Can you tell us your opinion or your assessment on the UAE economy, Saudi Arabia economy in general? I assess it by how much outside investment it is raising in comparison to how much revenue is generating annually, from what countries the money is coming from, uh, what is being put towards, and the avenues that is encouraging market access to especially within like real estate development and infrastructure. So public and private markets where outside investors can come in and and invest, park their money. Outside franchises, especially those companies from the Western countries that are going to the Middle East and the UAE to open the franchise there. Uh, Of course, the number of jobs that it's creating for its citizens as well as foreign nationals. As the UAE creates strategic alliances with other countries, such as parts of Europe, India, Jordan, Israel, and more, it grows its economy as well as its business allies' economy as well. So that's a success factor to me. And overall, it's sustainability as a business model. How long is it built to last? Mm-hmm. As resilient, so far, the whole region has re-innovated itself over the past three decades. So I only see it continuing as of now. Wonderful. I'm going to end my uh, interview with you with a politic question. Uh, uh, Bloomberg uh, described the war in Sudan or they had an article titled Iranian drones become a latest proxy tool in Sudan's civil war. Uh, how you can see this? Uh, how do you approach the situation in Sudan right now? Well, the civil war in Sudan is a humanitarian crisis and it's been going on for quite a while now. It's a division within its own government. It's battling itself. And I think it's going to continue to bring instability and displacement in the country, especially in the Darfur region and in the neighboring countries such as Chad. So far, over 7 million have been displaced, leaving the elderly, women, and girls impacted and most vulnerable. I think the war is going to be, it's considered to be a global war, as the uh, Sudanese armed forces appear to be supported by other countries in the region, financially by ammunition. So, it's going to open itself to third parties and proxies, as was stated as in Bloomberg and other articles. So it's still an ongoing situation and all the region, including at home here in the United States, we're going to keep our eyes on. Mm, wonderful. Thank you, Paula Swiss, for your time. Thank you for being with us. My pleasure. Hey, Maria Malouf here. Please click to like and subscribe to Maria Malouf TV YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.